talk about your interest in the case and also kind of the the discoveries you made as you dug into it. Yeah, so um, I had already been, prior to the men being arrested, I'd been investigating FBI corruption um, in other areas, right? Historical instances of FBI corruption. So when this story broke and it was announced the way that it was announced, I immediately was suspicious. So I started um, reporting on the case and uh, as that went to trial, you know, all the crazy issues that happened, that first uh, federal trial ending in zero convictions for the government, two acquittals, Daniel Harris and Brandon Caserta with the mistrial on the so-called ringleaders, Adam and Barry. <coughs> so after that first trial, I reached out to Brandon. I made contact with him. I interviewed him. And just from my interview with him, I realized there was so much that even I didn't know as somebody who was not only following the case, but reporting on it daily. Um, so I said to him, you know, I've never done this before, but I think we need to like make a documentary here. And so he and I started working together. He got me in touch with Adam and Barry. This was prior to their conviction in the retrial. You know, there was all kinds of corruption with the retrial. I was in Michigan for the verdict there. I thought it was going to go a different way. Um, but as this has progressed, I mean, it's just gotten crazier and crazier as far as the things that I've learned. I will say, I don't think they ever wanted this case to go to trial. Um, they waited on ch the state guys. So those uh, eight men were charged with providing material support and the state trials were put on hold until they could secure the conviction on Adam and Barry, the men framed as the ringleaders in that retrial. And I don't believe if they had not gotten those convictions, you can't charge the other eight men for providing material support to something that didn't happen or a jury has determined was instigated by the government itself. Now, as far as the things that I've uncovered since I have um, been investigating the case and doing the film. And I don't want to give too much away because I want to have uh, an incentive for people to watch it when it comes out. But I will say that it is much bigger than Michigan. As you said, not only does this it is parts of it seeming to be a, a tri trial trial run for January 6th, but it also has to do with criminalizing militia activity. There is now a bill uh, called the Preventing Private Paramilitary Activity Act of 2024, whose goal is to criminalize uh, people coming together and doing defensive firearms training and medical training, which is an American tradition that has gone on forever. Um, also, the government billed this as the biggest uh, domestic terror case in a generation, which tells you, I think, the level of resources used here 